Oh, sweet Jesus, man. Sometimes I don't know what the hell. Um, yeah, just, I'm certainly not confident with video technology and all that F and stuff. I could tell you that much. Or I could say my frustration level is um, exceedingly low when it comes to this stuff. Because here I was about to want to yabber on about a bit about, um, well, I'm getting ready for can games. This is about 21 days away. Just finished doing the backings for both. But, um, uh, you know what, like I said, I'm, uh, or at least in my mind, I said, um, I'm using this kind of like a prototyping for my own uh, stuff a year from now, because I want to get, uh, I want to be ready a year from now. And uh, it's an unusual feeling, I'll be honest with you. Because, um, man, my self-esteem is like uh, generally just uh, the pits, let's be honest. It is pathetic. I can use some good old expletives to uh, uh, ram that in, but I'm not going to. Um, but for for this type of stuff, it's a, such a nice feeling to feel confident. I mean, I have absolutely no... Um, look, like, like I said, these are this is prototype stuff. I'm learning so much, it's not flipping funny. Um, I, it's just bizarre. It's just for me, I, I just... Uh, it's such a great feeling to not... Uh, to just feel completely confident in my abilities about uh, with this and uh, I have absolutely no fear. It's just awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wish I could transfer that on to the, to the, into other stuff of my, my life, but uh, oh well, that's the way it goes. So this is, um, yeah, this is just a quickie thing that I'm using for, but what I'm trying to say here, I'll see if I can move it on over, just from learning stuff, um, get your ass over here. Um, is, you see how, I don't want to do it too much, but just learning little bits, for example, I've got, you know, two, two play aids here, one with the turn track and the reinforcement stuff, um, you know, I don't want to start moving stuff all over Hell's Acres, um, but this is not a good design in the sense I've got one in portrait mode and one in landscape mode, so, um, you know, it's for so now I've got to transform this into two landscapes and also make sure that um, I've got two copies, one for each player. And I was thinking, you know, it would be a good idea to have. I'm just using this as a dummy counter, dummy turn counter for now. Um, is to you know be able to ha uh, just uh, anyways. I'm just yeah, I'm having fun is what I'm trying to say, and it's making sense. Um, it's weird too, in a weird, because uh, right now I can feel uh, mentally or whatever, um, I'm bringing my head back up a bit, and it's not going crazy up because um, I'm not getting overwhelmed, and I'm not saying that because I had my head down uh, in a whatever sense that I've been getting a ton of work done gaming wise or whatever. Um, it just means I haven't been feeling, but I can feel now, like I'm just looking now, I'm like, okay. What can I, because I, I'm just uh, starting to think about things about, uh, like I was looking at the, uh, I'll talk about uh, some of the stuff later in the live stream, whatever's. Oh, I did want to show you this though, when I was going through some of my uh, role-playing D&D stuff upstairs. I think this is probably the very first time I ever went to can games, and I think this is a copy, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure that's a copy of the very first Can Games catalog, uh, or uh, uh, schedule thingamajig that they had. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there was. I'll do a thing later. But I was like, I got to scan this in, man. Um, look at that. Uh, so oh, yep, dorm space available for twenty one dollars and ninety cents. You could uh, have a single room per night at Carleton University and get a dorm. Isn't that insane? My God. Talk, and it only cost a weekend pass was $10. Oh, Lord of mercy. Talk about going back in uh, back in time for prices. But I'm pretty sure this is, uh, wow, I'm gonna have to scan this in. It's in pretty darn good shape. So I think uh, Can Games started in 77? Or so, 77 or 78, but uh, that's it really. Um, yeah, I'm just, um, just got to do a bit of note taking for Africa, uh, the Great War in Africa, uh, Chapter Three on the capture of Douala. I'm not sure if that's uh, how it's pronounced, but it's a port town that was uh, 
um, in the Cameroon. It's not their capital, but uh, it was extremely important due to the fact that I had a massive wireless station, two railroads going into it, uh, there was coal fields around that area, blah, blah, blah. Well, port as well, like I just said. So, anyways, that's it. Um, hope you guys are having a great time. Um, what else did I want to yabber on about? Probably about a trillion things. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, I guess I'm just trying to, my head's co going back up, so I'm already thinking about possibilities like strict. Ah, oh, just, I don't know. This is fun. Okay, see ya.